All right, day two of seven two, we're gonna be talking about function composition. So we got two types of function composition we're gonna be talking about today. One, when they actually give you a polynomial and how we do f of g and g of f. And the second is where they give you a set of points that make up a function. Same concept, but two different ways to approach it. So let's take a look right away. <clears throat> for f of g of x, now this goes true for all of these. Whatever function is mentioned second is really where you start. Okay, so whatever mentioned second is really what you start. So when it says f of g of x, first off, this really means f of g of x, meaning the g function will become the input in the f function. So take a look at the f function. It's 2 times its input squared minus the input plus 1. So now when I'm doing f of g, instead of 2 times x squared, it's going to be 2 times the g function squared minus the g function plus 1. Notice this is the exact same operations that exist in f of x, only now it's f of g of x. The only thing that changed is the input. Instead of x, you're putting in the entire g function. And now we just simplify. Now, be careful here. That is not 16x squared plus 9. When you square a quantity, it's so nice, you write it twice, which means I'll have 2 times 4x plus 3, 4x plus 3. That is what's going on. Might as well distribute the negative now. Then I'll have a minus 4x minus 3 plus 1. All right. FOIL is in session. We'll get a 16x squared. Now that'll give me 12x and that'll give me 12x for a total of 24x plus 9. Okay? Now at the back end, I'm just going to do some simplifying. I got minus 4x minus 2. Distribute the 2. We get 32x squared plus 48x plus 18, minus 4x, minus 2. Last step, combine like terms, 32x squared plus 44x plus 16. So, f of g of x is 32x squared plus 44x plus 16. I know that's a lot. But please, don't think about the whole process. Think about how simple the concept is. The f function hasn't changed. We're just replacing its input with the g function. So if that's what f of g of x is, now let's take a look at g of f of x. Notice, f is mentioned second. So that is my input. I think of it as g of f of x, meaning the g function takes 4 times its input and adds 3. So I'm going to take 4 and multiply it by my new input, which is the entire f function. 2x squared minus x plus 1 plus 3. Notice, this is the g function, 4 times its input plus 3. The only difference is, instead of x being our input, the entire f function is our input. This one's a little nicer. Let's simplify Distribute the 4, you get 8x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then we just got the plus 3. Oh, this one was much nicer. 8x squared minus 4x plus 7. And that is g of f of x. Okay? That's how you treat function composition when you're given polynomial functions. Now, if they give you a set of points, Watch very carefully on how I set this up. My setup I call the inside handoff method, and you'll see why in a second. If they're asking for f of g, what's mentioned second goes first. So because g is mentioned second, I'm going to list all my g functions points for 6, 8, negative 12, negative 5, 0, 5, and 5, 1. Okay? Now, here's where the inside handoff occurs. 
Notice that the G point ends in an 8. It can only hand off to an F point that begins with 8. Do you notice the inside handoff here? 8 can only hand off to 8. So I look at all my F points. Do any of them start with an 8? Oh, yes. 8, 12. Do you notice the inside handoff has to be the same? So next, if I'm ending the G point with a negative 5, do any points in F start with negative 5? No. So, this is not going to exist. Do any of them start with 5? No. Any start with 1? No. Okay, so we can only send one point in F of G. So this is where you look. The inside handoff was the same, so the outsides create a new point. So the only point that exists in F of G is the point 612. Notice the inside handoff goes away. It's the first point in the G, second point in the F. A lot of points do not exist here. So let's find G of F and hopefully we get some more results. Okay? Again, what's mentioned second goes first. So F is mentioned second, so I'm going to list all the F points. I have negative 7, 0, 4, 5, 8, 12, and negative 3, 6. Again, doesn't matter how you list the order of the first set. Now, using the inside handoff method, I can only send negative 7, 0 to a point in G that starts with 0. So, let's check. Hey, this point starts. Off to a good start. Next, I can only hand it off to a point in G that starts with 5. All right, we've already beaten our last round. Any points in G start with 12? That's a negative 12. It is not a 12, so we can't send it there. Anything start with 6? Notice, again, I know I keep saying it, but the inside handoff is very important there. Inside handoff has to be the exact same. Now notice, we have three points that we're able to do the inside handoff. I ignore the inside handoff now, and my new points appear. Negative 7, 5, 4, 1, and negative 3, 8. Those are the only points that exist in G of F. That was a quick tutorial on how to do function composition when given polynomial functions and when given a set of points. All right, go get it.